Welcome, everybody. This is your Catholic Faith Reloaded, episode number seven. I'm your host, Father Nelson Medina, broadcasting from Colombia. For all of you who wonder who I am, well, I'm a Dominican priest. Now it is 30 years since my priestly ordination, and I am so thankful to the Lord for all his mercy, and also very glad to have you here. What we do in this program is to go back to basics. We go to the very foundations of our faith. And in this last episode, we have been talking about how to know God. And I like very much uh, the approach that we have taken, uh, which is uh, rooted in a very a useful resource that you can find in, on the internet. Um, and that is uh, from the uh, Joan of Arc Catholic Parish in Indianapolis. And um, uh, what, what I like the most of this, of this part, is that we are, uh, we are taught, we are being taught about how to know God. And the very essential point is that God is not a thing, is not, uh, as we say at some point, is not a micro that you can uh, explore through the micros microscope. I mean, uh, every object of knowledge has its particular way, way to, to get to know it or to, go to, to know that person or to know that reality. If I try uh, to learn, for example, pottery, you know, pottery, pottery using a book of calculus, probably is not exactly the, the, the proper resource to know how to make good pottery. If I'm trying to learn biology, probably the best idea is not, uh, for example, through painting. If I'm trying to learn mathematics, the best idea is not going to the Bible. So th there is a way, there is a way of, of, of coming to know people. For example, when you want to know how a person is, you need some kind of uh, relationship, dialogue, uh, sharing time with the person. That's the only way to really come to know the person. Well, we're speaking here about God. And if, and if you try, if you try to learn about God just from facts, well, that's exactly that trying to understand uh, the stones and pebbles and rocks in geology. Well, God is far more than that. So we need a different method. And that different method, when we speak of a person, is about revelation. Revelation is about sharing knowledge of yourself. When you share an intimate part of your life with another person, that's a revelation for that person. Probably something that you wouldn't share with, with anyone else. But because your friend is so important to you, you feel confident in sharing that part of your life with that person. That's a revelation. Well, it's all the same with God. It's also a revelation. But this particular revelation took a lot of time, centuries upon centuries, and it was not a revelation given to just one person. But this, is, this was a process of revelation that was given to different people in different times and different circumstances, covering centuries and using different languages. Hebrew, for example, and Greek, 
Those are the main languages that were used for the people of God and in the relationship between the people of God and God himself, we know something about God. And that process has a, uh, has a goal, has a maximum in the person of Jesus Christ. He's the one that really has told us the maximum that can be known about God. And that's what, what we preach. And that's what we say here. Now, let's move just a little bit using these very concepts. The Bible is the revelation of God. The purpose of the Holy Scriptures is to reveal the fullness of truth to us. God loves us and calls us into a personal relationship with himself. Personal relationship with himself. That's the central point of this. We can only know the full truth through God's revelation of himself. If you think of it, this is not that strange. Because it is, I repeat myself, this is exactly what happens when you come to know a human person. Why? Above, we said the truth is a who, not a what. We can gather all sorts of facts, which are true. But facts alone cannot give us the full truth. Because God is personal, and not just factual, he must introduce himself to us and invite us to know him. This is wonderful about the freedom that every person enjoys. You, you, you cannot take the intimate secrets of a person and, and press the person to tell everything to everybody. You cannot do that. It, it doesn't work that way. Someone said, the door of the heart can only be opened from within. If we say that, speaking of people, it's even more true when we speak of God. And this is why we need the Bible, we need the Holy Scripture, and this is the same reason we need prayer, humble and constant prayer, to come to really know God. May the Lord bless you, and let's continue this humble path of coming to know our Lord and God. May the Lord himself bless you. See you soon.